Hi, everybody. I um, wanted to get back and do another reading because I've had a couple people asking me to read on Robert Mueller and see if he's going to actually testify. I know we all feel that, yes, he is going to testify, but some of them are wanting to know when is he going to testify. And you know how cards are with that. What could one person makes a different decision or other information comes out and the timeline always changes. But we could try to check that out too. Some people ask if anybody else that was in that investigation is going to be called in to testify and, and going to be there. Right now I'm not sure that... <laughs> the more I watch the house, the people in the house, I'm not sure they know what they're doing. They should have got rid of them 10 years ago and put some younger people in there. I think they're just whatever. Gender thinks their their minds be bedazzled. All of them are too old that's in charge. Sometimes I know exactly how they feel. But, oh, let me turn this music down. It's hard enough to hear me without having music on. Yeah, I've had two or three people want me to do a reading on Miller and if he was going to testify and I think when I did my reading for May if I'm not mistaken he popped out there at like Monday on the the last week of of the of the month he popped out there about four or five days before the end of the month if that happens now it's awful quick for nobody to know anything about it but we don't know anything about anything going on anyway uh I need to read on Iran again. This is just like Deja Vu in the George Bush. I went around for two months telling everybody I knew he was going to start a war. And they kept saying, no, he's not going to do that. But he did. But let's... This looks a little bit too convenient for it not to have been set up ahead of time. But anyway, we'll look at that tomorrow. Tonight, we're going to... Is Mueller going to testify? My first row down is, is Mueller going to testify? Well, I've been trying to get his energy on both decks of these cards. Because I might be pulling them from a different place because of my next questions. I have the whole deck to work with. So, is Mueller going to testify? That's I've been asked that simple of a question, and I feel like he couldn't. He has to testify, so I feel like eventually. But I also have another feeling that uh, anyway, I had one of my dreams today, and even with all the bad stuff that was on the news today. It still made me feel a little bit better all day long. And it was a feeling that it's not all going to depend on his test. That was before this other stuff came out tonight on the news. But I woke up this morning dreaming, what I call my technicolor dreams. And there was this beautiful little bay on the ocean where the, you know, you could tell where you could walk into it where it was sandy and stuff. And here was all these people walking out of the ocean, and it was uh, Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks, and I'm not sure if Jinx was there or not, but uh, David Doyle, who does a podcast, and of course Rachel Maddow, and, and Ari Melber, and they were all just, it's so weird. They just walked out of the ocean in this beautiful little bay. And they just had this, they were all smiling. They were all just smiling from ear to ear. And uh, so I laid there a minute and I thought about it. And I thought, well, it came from the deep. It's something that's been hidden. 
something that's going to go out to all the news. And I thought, is this the leak in the dike? It's because, God, for three or four months, I've been waiting for this thing to bust wide open. And it just, it's just one more little hole in the dam, one more little hole in the dam that nobody's following too far. But anyway, that's what I dreamed this morning. And then I heard tonight uh, about that judge unredacting some stuff on a, on Flynn, on Michael Flynn. So, um, is that the finger that's coming out of the dike right there? Is it going to just fall? Is this stuff going to just snap in till it's, till the dam bursts? I, I had a feeling that the dam was just going to burst. But anyway, when I get these feelings like this, especially after having these dreams and trying to figure out what they are, a lot of it I wonder, well, is that what a, is that because that's what you're wanting to happen? You know, I have to figure, I have to try to figure out how much of my own thoughts go into it. But I thought I'd throw that out there, and and uh, I may end up cutting this out before I when I edit this. But uh, but anyway, I thought I'd throw it out there because it did. Even with all the horrible stuff coming over the news today about them trying to start a war in Iran and everything, I just tried not to give into. I didn't watch it. I turned it off for a while and, and went back and watched my stuff on the internet. I like to watch. Really, Anita debate I've seen in there between another, I've seen the one that she did a couple of years ago and she just tore up, but this was between Anna Kasparian and and uh, Ann Coulter and of course Ann Coulter doesn't have her information like Anna Kasparian does. She's she's really got a brain on her. I love her on the Young Turks and I also love her when she does this kind of stuff. But anyway, so I watched that and that was really good. Um, so let's do this. Let's read on Robert Mueller. Anyway, here we go. Let's read on Robert Miller. And I've been, like I said, shuffling these and trying to get his energy all over these cards and see what's going on, see what's going on, see what's going on. Let's see what's happening, see what's happening. So, okay, is Robert Mueller going to testify? Of course, I feel like of course he is, but who knows right now what's going on. And I've had people ask for that. Hmm. Well, a lot of times he's the king of wands, so I would say that's a yes. And that's a definite yes. Wow. <laughs> and here's the king of swords. Sometimes when I'm reading cards, that's his energy. Between the king of wands and the king of swords and the yes card in the middle, I would say yes, yes, yes. Uh, since I'm doing the four across, Sometimes this is what uh, holds things up sometimes. So this might be somebody else, a judge or something, or somebody, or maybe even, I don't think that could possibly be Trump, the King of Swords. That's somebody that's noble-minded. So, yeah, there might be some negotiations going on over it, but yes, yes, he's going to testify. And it is going to set truth on fire. It is going to show so much stuff. So yes, he is going to testify. What beautiful cards. And then for the second one here, let me pull this up. What did I... Oh, well, will any of the other investigators that helped him testify... Well, that's usually rotten money. They they don't think that they uh, 
investigated any of the money or where it was switched from or went around or something, but there's some, when I say rotten money, there's some money that was ill gains. Sometimes this is Don Jr. Although the second I turned that over and looked at it, I thought of the I thought of the guys in the Senate, the senators that have been blocking all this stuff. And sometimes the dark this is can be dark in uh, this Knight of Cups in this particular deck can be a uh, dark and murky people. So I don't know. If, we'll go back and look at that in a little while. What's been blocking this so far from getting out? What's going on? Even I was asking if the other people were going to testify. I think this is something that's going on in Congress. This whole row. Here's dark money again. That's what's been blocking it. They don't want the fact to get out. Okay, this is going another direction. This is if Mueller's going to testify, and that's a definite yes. Some of the people in the Senate with a little bit of power has been trying to stop this. Or at least slow it down or pull him back or figure any way they can to block it besides some of the lawyers. This is ill-gotten money. This is dark deeds. This is dark money. That's what they've been trying to hide. And if it gets out, it's going to be the death of some of his careers. And God, I... This was something I was going to mention about 10 days ago. I, can you hear those airplanes outside? I'm, in, I'm right outside Miramar here at Poway. It's about a mile and a half or maybe two as the crow flies. Maybe less. But the... I know you all heard me talk about the bar I had for so many years. It was, uh, God, 38 years. But it was a mile outside the Navy base in El Centro. And this is exactly what it sounded like when they were doing touch and goes and getting ready to go to war. It was there long enough where the, I mean, they went into Iraq even the first time. And this, I've been hearing those planes fly for about 10 days now, and I didn't want to mention it because I... I was hoping it was just my imagination, but you don't hear them, especially at night. It's like they're doing touch and goes or something. Anyway, what was the third row? I'm going to ask the same question again that I just did. Will any of Mueller's investi investigators testify? If they do testify, they're going to testify about money that was found in there, although they keep saying on TV they didn't even investigate the money. Maybe maybe they won't. Maybe that's what it's going to come out, that they didn't follow the money trail, but it needs to be followed. Uh, some stuff may came out, come out about Trump Jr. if they all testify. And somebody getting dark money payoffs. And if they do, it's going to be the, the end of a... It's going to really turn flip things around. So we're going to do one more here on um, um, is the other investigators on there going to testify? Maybe not right away. They've been thinking about it. They've been thinking about it because it's a temperance. This is a nostalgic family card. Uh, I have a feeling that's a yes. Yes, that this information is going to come out, and it's private information. And they've been under pressure by the president not to bring it out. God, if it does come out, he's going to be looking for a bed to hide under. And it's going to change the... This is the Wheel of Fortune card. It's going to change the whole outlook on all this stuff. So let's hope they bring them in. And here's the sort of truth. Maybe that's that damn busting. Maybe that's that damn busting. So this is pretty simple reading here. Uh, 
this is like this is a card for Mueller. This is a card for yes. This is a card for authority, sometimes Mueller. And this is the angel of truth burning through. So yes, he is going to testify. And whether it's him or the people, other people that work for him, something's coming out about money. Even if they didn't research it, maybe it'll be that they didn't research it. Some really dark secrets coming out about Don Jr. when this testifying is getting done. And dark money. And it's going to be the, the death of somebody's career or almost the death of them. And this is another one. The next row was, is there going to be any of the other investigators again testifying? And it's saying, maybe we might have to wait. Maybe not at the same time Mueller does. It might be a week or so afterwards. But yeah, and they're going to bring out the family connections. That's what's coming out. It's going to make one, Donald Trump want to run and hide. And it's also going to, like I said, I think this is the busting open of this dam I was talking about. I think those people coming out of that water today was showing that it's come, it's coming. And um, then we got the Ace of Swords here. We got the Angel of Truth here. So that answers that. And then I'm going to do another two rows really quick. But I'm pretty. Listen, I'm going to stick these back in here first because. I want to use the same deck, and I don't want to use it minus any cards. We're going to do two more rows across. I'm going to do it for like next week and the week afterwards, or maybe even we're into tomorrow's Thursday. Probably won't do too much on Thursday, but we never know. I'm going to do this the next two weeks, just starting tomorrow. The next two weeks going out and see if... Uh, if uh, if this t might be coming up in the next two weeks. Should have just grabbed that other deck because I had the energy on it. But I but I just want to use this one. It seems to be going, going pretty good here. <laughs> well, Butterfingers here. I'm going to have to cut a lot of this out so I don't bore people shuffling the cards, but let's see what's going on here. Three for good, three for good, three for good. going to do some of these, some of these, some of these. That's what really moves them around. That really moves the cards around. So this is going to be one across for one week and one across for the next week. We're going to see if this is going to happen in the next couple of weeks. I got a feeling this thing's ready to go. I know I've been saying this for almost a year to myself and ever since I've been reading cards, especially after the first of the year and and Congress changed over, I the, the house cleared out. I thought, boy, this thing's going to go now. Well, my mom always used to tell me, think in one hand or oh, wish in one hand and she was very, I'll say crap, in the other hand and see which one gets the fullest. That's what she, when I go in and say, oh, I wish I had this, or I wish I could go do that. Anyway, my mom was raised an orphan, so when, sometimes when she talked to us, it was pretty blunt. She grew up, her and her sisters kind of raised themselves. But anyway, uh, so the first week across, like starting tomorrow to the end, well, we got... I think tomorrow's the 15th. They're getting close to it. Today's the 15th. Till between now and the end of the month, this next week, a lot of secrets being kept from us, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking to see when Mueller's going to testify.
Well, I'm getting the feeling, okay, that he's not even, Mueller's a little disappointed that he hasn't been able to testify already. At the same way, he, he doesn't want to break the people of the United States' heart. He feels like he might be responsible for a huge change. He'd like to just go away. He's worried about the responsibility on his shoulders, and there is so many things involved in this that, it, like I said, that's that dam bro breaking again. And it's not going to be good news when he does. Doesn't say when. Just saying it's not going to be good news when he does. So this is the second week from now. Somebody's trying to steal something. Is it, or is it paperwork? Is it to bury more stuff? Is it a... When he does testify, it's going to be about theft. But we're looking for a timeline. Is it going to be in the next two weeks? Well, the Ace of Cups, trying to block it, but the Ace of Cups is a yes. About stuff going on around the world and overseas. And the Chariot coming forward. So we never know on a timeline with cards, but I'm going to say it's going to be before the end of this month. It'll be the last week of the month that something's going to come out. And we're asking about Mueller, so I'm going to say it's about him. And when it comes out, it's going to hit us like a... There's going to be so much information, it's going to be overwhelming. So, uh... That's what I got now. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's hard to do timelines. But that's what came out of there. And I'm going to... It's time for me to get out of here and go to the gym. But when I get back, I'm going to edit this and then put it up. And I, uh, I just want to thank everybody and everybody for the comments. And if there is something you want me to read on, let me know. And it always helps if I've got, like, that energy going. If somebody wants me to do something... I'm that kind of person. I can do more. Well, anyway, it always helps if somebody wants me to do something. And uh, so if there's something that you want me to read on, just mention it in the comments and I'll try to get to it. And I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm going to go read again on, on all this planes flying and drums banging about Iran. And it look, I've got a feeling just from his comment today that, that he's already there but anyway hopefully everything will work out for the best i know it will this is spirit and all the good stuff from the universe coming down to cleanse us we've got to be cleansed one way or the other so anyway, bye everybody, and don't forget if you want a private reading, my email is lynntarotreadings at gmail.com, and uh, just uh, do the email, and I'll get right back with you, and we'll set something up. Bye-bye now, and, and just thank everybody, all of you so much. Bye-bye.